right, we're talking West Grant Wrestling. Uh, Paul Fox with us. Uh, it seems like this has been going on, going on a while. We get together uh, every so often and uh, we talk West Grant and wrestling. And let's talk about still fun for you. I mean, you don't look like age. You look yeah. still like a young guy and yeah. enthusiastic about your wrestling program. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, but it's, it's a lot of fun, especially uh, when you have guys coming to the room and working real hard every single day. And, uh, and, and, and you're winning, it's fun too, so. You're always getting results out of these guys, just getting a little bit more out of them. Talk about, you know, pleasing to see, you know, how these kids grow in your program. Yeah, um, it's awesome, you know, some, some of them that, that are seniors now, we've had as freshmen, uh, just watching them go through the program. Um, and grow through the program is, is, is really exciting. And uh, these guys put in a lot of time, um, and not, not just during the season and the offseason, and, 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 and even after practice, they, a lot of them belong to a wrestling club. So they put in the time. But uh, it's in the blood there at West Grant, and you still have a bunch of guys around the program, and, you know, either coach there, wrestle there, part of the program. Talk what it's like, that, that wrestling room and some of the tradition you guys have. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, our coaching staff all wrestled for West Grand, um, and they were all very successful. The state medalists, a couple times state medalists, uh, Jim Morgan was in the room. Um, Dave is actually in town, and he was down, and he's uh, he was our, I think, our highest placer ever, state second. Um, Nelson Villafane in the room, all ex ex West Grant wrestlers, and it's you know just exciting that we're continuing the the tradition that West Grant has had for a long time. Let's talk about the, you know where you're at this year. Uh, you know, go against Abington Heights, teams like that. I mean, there's there's some quality opponents you go against, but you know, yeah. you guys are, are doing your thing there. Right. So right now we're um, we're six and zero. Uh, we did clinch the Lackawanna League, so we beat we beat Abington in a very tight match. Uh, we beat Del Val in a pretty close match, and Walt Paul Pack. Um, Lackawanna League is really strong this year. Uh, so to, you know, just. For the guys to come out and perform every single match it's not like maybe in the in some of the olden days where you were competing against one team for the title now you got to bring it every single day that abington match came down to like one point right right <laughs> yeah so you know there's a good chance in the district duels that we'll that we'll see them again or see del valor well paul pack again so there's talent across the league you guys as coaches in the lackawanna league you guys know each other and you know, respect each other. And then when you get to District 2 with the Wyoming Valley Conference, there's still more support when you guys get to regionals. There's a yeah. there's a nice bond in the wrestling coaching community. Absolutely. I think uh, when, when we do head down to regionals, you'll see all the District 2 coaches rooting for, for the different schools. For our, uh, you know, if, if somebody from Delaware Valley is, is going for a medal, we're, you know, West Grant, they're rooting them on. So we're rooting for our district. And it's nice to see that, you know, Everybody's kind of got everybody's back down there. Yeah. We got four guys we're going to talk to today. Uh, so take us through each one and what they bring for you here at West Grant. Okay. Um, so Tyson Cook, he's a senior. He um, he is a three time three time state qualifier. Um, which if he qualifies this year, it would be the first four time that we've ever had. He he qualified as a freshman. Now, Michael Turry, who's also here, qualified as a freshman also, but he's only a sophomore. So Tyson's our first first three-time, possible four-time. Um, he was a district champ last year, um, and I think a region third. And so we're trying to get on that podium this year, get a medal around his neck. Uh, next, we have another senior, Colby Seeluck, who um, is having a fantastic year. He won the Cumberland, or uh, not Cumberland Valley, he won our last tournament we were out at IUP, uh, and he won the uh, Midwinter Mayhem, which is, there are a lot of state-ranked wrestlers in that tournament. Uh, he's having a fantastic year. I, I think he's maybe 26 and five, something like that. Um, next, probably um, uh, Michael Turry. He's uh, probably, maybe, might be the most talented in our room, you know. Um, and he's had a state medal around his neck last year as a freshman. Uh, he was seventh in the state. And then uh, we brought a, a very promising freshman, Mark Hutchman. He's got a 17 and six record. He, he won the Lackawanna League tournament earlier in the year, and he's placed in a couple of these prestigious tournaments that we're in. Talk about still, you know, I mean, you know, you get older, you get family, you get 
busy weekends, all that stuff. And you, know, you guys are still going to these tournaments week in and week out, and, and some of them are travel, but it's for the kids. Like in the end, you know, you're there to get them better and face great competition. And right. I'm sure in the end, you know, you guys are enjoying some camaraderie on the weekend. And, you know, it's wrestling. You guys are wrestling guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and this year, we, we added a tournament. Um, with the talent that we have on our team, we added another pretty good tournament. Um, and so we have, they are long weekends with the, with the tournaments, and we have three um, top notch in the state tournament type. Um, so just getting together with those guys, being together with the team, and, and beefing up our schedule is exciting. You know? How about uh, going forward here? You, you know, you'll get to to the heat here in February and then hopefully March. But talk about what you're looking forward to with some of these individual guys and your team. Yeah. So, like I said, the, the district duels is coming up right around the corner. So we set our goals at the beginning of the year, and we wanted to win a, a league title and win the league league uh, tournament, and we did that. And then next is the district duels, and we're hoping to to win the district duels and 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 move on to state duels and maybe get a few matches in down there. Um, and then, you know, we'll have a couple matches and then we get right into the postseason. And uh, we have uh, six guys on our team that are ranked in the state. Um, some of them have been higher and then they take a loss and they'll drop a little bit. Some of them have won tournaments and then moved up. So, but throughout the year, we've had six guys out of, out of 13 weight classes, we have six guys that are ranked in the state. So. The goal is to win a district title. The goal is to get as many guys through regionals to the state tournament. Is it, and, and this might be, you might answer the way I think you might answer it, is it, is it hard to, to keep guys, you know, with their weight, keep it under control? Is it hard to keep them injury free? Is it hard to keep pushing them to peak at the right time? Or, or is all of it hard? It's all hard. And, and I always say when, when people ask me at the beginning of every season, and I said, there's just so many factors. Staying healthy, you know, um, that's that's the biggest. Just stay out of trouble, stay healthy, and uh, and make it through a, a, a grueling season. So, well, uh, it's gonna peak pretty soon, but uh, it's good to catch up with you guys here for the Invaders of West Granton, Coach. Always a pleasure. All right, thank you.